everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a Kima Bora recipe for you all. In other words, minced lamb kebabs. These are the most tastiest, delicious and a very easy recipe. They make a great snack and you can have them however you want. My husband absolutely loves them and he loves it with rice and salad, but you can have it in a burger or with a parata or chapati, whatever you want. But let me show you guys how to make this quick and easy quinoa bar. So let's just start off with the ingredients. I'm going to go through them one by one. So I've got 450 grams of minced lamb. I chopped two medium tomatoes, one big red onion, six to seven cloves of garlic, some ginger, which is roughly one teaspoon, half a lime or lemon, and lots of coriander. I like a lot of coriander. I'm going to use one teaspoon of Mr. Naga, and one tablespoon of Greek yogurt, and then some tomato puree. I'm just going to squeeze in it, uh, squeeze in there randomly. And here I've got all the spices. This is all one teaspoon, okay, of everything. So one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of extra hot curry powder, one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of a mild curry powder, one teaspoon of chili powder, and then one teaspoon of mustard seeds. And of, of course, you want to add some oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, whatever you have, sunflower oil, whatever you have at home. So now we're just going to combine all these ingredients together and start mixing it into the kima. So before I do anything, I always like to wash my meat just so, you know, just give it a one more quick wash. Um, I do it that all the time so i've got all the spices here with me right now just add that all in okay that's better i'll put my bun on a tripod and now i'm just gonna add all of this in as well probably should do it this way so you guys can see just add that all in there and it looks like this and now we're going to turn them into like brown little borers now just bring um about that much in your hand and then just roll it up like this and then make it as flat as you can i am a perfectionist so i like to make it as nice and round as possible and just like a medium sized or you can get a few out of these from this batch. So I've made about 20 uh, kima borrows. Um, depending on the size, you could probably make more. These are quite medium sized and I've got three more in the bowl here. So now I am just going to fry them on medium heat and I always cook them in butter. And I usually use Lurpak all the time. So that's what I'll be doing right now. So about two tablespoons of Lurpak butter in there. Butter is nicely melted and it's sizzling. So now I'm just going to take the quinoa bars and just place them gently. You don't want to, you know, splash everywhere. I'm filming with one hand and I'm placing these with one hand, so. I think I can, I think I could just fit about seven in there. So they're almost ready, but they're not ready. So they need to kind of like burn on the outside, not burn, but you know what I mean, be a nice uh, dark shade. Um, and they really do shrink in size, as you guys can see, but oh, it smells so good, I'm so hungry. Oh. Making some rice as well to go with this concoction. Okay, so when your borrows are looking a bit crispy like this, then just flip them over and just let that happen to the other side. And then 
you can basically take them off under cots. Mmm. It's going to be so good. So we're eating it right now. Ashkin, what do you think of it? Nice? My favorite. Aww. I told him it's your favorite. <laughs>